Thank you, Lord, for anointing this man. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. My name is Norman Adams. I'm from uh, Bellevue East. Uh, the reason that brought me here uh, is that uh, I was worried about my life, about everything that is happening in my life, in my ministry, my financial life, everything. Uh, everything uh, was uh, stagnant. My ministry was stagnant. My financial life stagnant. Everything was not working in my life. This is why I decided that uh, let me just come to Charis and meet the men of God so that I will have a clear picture in what is happening. This issue was affecting me and my wife a lot because uh, we used to pray together a lot, we used to fast together a lot, but we have been not seeing any changes. So obvious, you, you, we will be affected if you are praying, you are fasting, but you don't see any changes. Yes. Yeah, today I had an, I had an opportunity to meet the prophet of God, prophet Andris one on one. I can say I'm very much happy because he didn't ask, he di, I, he di, I didn't tell him anything. Uh, he's the one who told me everything that uh, brought me here without him asking me. So I'm very much happy. That shows that uh, uh, God uh, saw my cry, God saw my tears. That is why he revealed everything to his servant without him asking me. So I'm very much happy. Uh, the man of God told me about ministry. He told me about my finances, that uh, my finances are very stuck. He told me that even in my heart, uh, I have got the calling of God in me. So I'm looking for a place where I can serve, of which it is very true because I have been praying very hard for a spiritual father where I can submit under. So he was confirming everything that I was praying for. So he told me that today I will meet, uh, tomorrow I will meet daddy, everything is going to be fine. So I'm very much happy because he was confirming everything that I was praying for, everything that brought me here. Ah, I'm feeling so much happy because uh, I came here expecting and God fulfilled the desires of my heart. So I'm very, very much happy. I would want to say to everyone watching, there is God in Charis. He don't hesitate to come. If you are watching this video and uh, you are thinking, don't think otherwise. Just take your time. Come meet the man of God. Uh, I believe God will do you good. One hand, lift another one. Take this hand and just put it in your chest. Press it. <coughs> Press. Jesus, you are anointed to the Jesus. Acts 13 verse 1. Let it be fulfilled in you today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Press. Thank you, Jesus. Press. Thank you, Jesus. Press. 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 You are dancing to press yourself. Eh? An apostle is a person who is ready to die for the gospel. Yes, that's right. Do like this. Press. Execution is going to come. Suffering will come. Thank you. But at the end, you are more than the conqueror. Yes. Press. Yes. In Jesus' name. Press. In Jesus. Name. God bless you. Thank you. Sir, you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the apostle one on one. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Uh, yes, I had an opportunity to meet Daddy today. Uh, I'm so much blessed about everything that he told me, of which I confirm every word that he 
prophesied over my life to be true. Uh, because I came here for my ministry that was not doing well, of which he told me everything about my ministry without me even telling him. So he prophesied, he told me everything in detail. So I'm very much blessed. Yes. And how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres? Uh, I'm well blessed. I'm very much blessed. Uh, I'm very happy because uh, everything that I came here for, it was addressed. So I'm very much happy. Thank you. Mama, you, God will heal you. You hear me? You're not well. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> Ask yourself, how does he know that? <laughs> Very simple, God will heal you. God will heal you. You went to the doctor? Huh? What, what did they tell you? You know when you come here, no one asks you anything, isn't it? Don't cry, mama. Don't cry. Me, I don't know you. I'm coming from where I come from. And I'm seeing you for the first time. And when you reach here, they just said to you, hey, the man of God is coming. And no one asks you, not even a single question. You don't feel any form of your problem. Did you feel a form of your problem? No, no. So now, God will heal you. Amen. You hear me? Mm. How long you have been sick? Since 22. Since what? Almost died. This is a man-made problem. I'm telling you. This is a man-made problem. Where is your husband? He said to me he wanted to come, but he couldn't come today. So today, me and Jesus will heal you. Thank you, Jesus. Are you hearing me? Because to me, when I look at you, I saw you in a hospital. Yes. And I was asking myself, what are you doing? And why God resurrected you? Yes. You know, it was on the 30th of October. There was, doctors thought you were dead. Yes. Mm. So, it's Jesus that brought you back to Thank you, Jesus. Your husband must rejoice Thank you. Your husband must rejoice. Thank you, Jesus. I believe you are not here to meet us. You are here to meet God. Amen. The Lord will help you. Amen. Jesus' name. Jesus, my name. Jesus.
Ďakujem. Look at me. Rise up, you are free. Rise up, you test yourself. Test yourself, test yourself. How do you feel? Lift up your legs. Test yourself. Do you feel any pain? What? I'm okay. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Go out there and walk. Go out there. Because really working was a problem in a very week. Praise God. How do you feel? I'm okay. Huh? I'm okay. Do like this. Kick your legs. That one is defeated. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. You still feel weak? No. Remove okay. this thing away. Thank you. You won't wait again. Thank you. Do, you, do like this. Yeah? Go out again. Follow him. Go, go out towards the Pastor, don't play with people of God. No matter how bad they can be. I will pray for you. I saw uh, the issue of the job. You know, and number two, we pray for your marriage. Which is one of my worries. You still want to be married then? To be honest, Pastor. 
My name is Ntomga Isekelo Amodimula. I'm coming from Rhinebeck, Rand Park Ridge. Uh, the reason that I came to see the pastor is because of the difficulties that I've been having at home in my marriage. A lot has been happening that, I mean, I've been married for almost 13 years now, but I, I don't have any peace with a whole lot of things that are happening. The relationship is not good between me and my husband. One minute you feel, you feel like it's it's okay and it's, you're taking one step forward and 20 steps back, backwards. So there's a lot of issues involving my extramarital relationships in a, as a result of in that relationship as in Zili outside. But without even having to tell the, the pastor he actually told me all of those things. And the fact that most of the spirits are coming from isn't that it have happened from a side in Lamy because the marriage they didn't want it to take place. And now whether the spirits of infidelity has been casted from that side, but they they are doing anything that they could to actually tear apart Um because it should not take place. And he also spoke of 
the fact that I'm stuck between a job and a, a business of which is true. I'm employed full time within the government fraternity, but I have a business that I've started that I'm trusting Gurungulu for Uguti Ikole. And that has been confirmed Uguti Ikole is working wonders into developing that business. And the fact that Gurungulu is working, I'm sure and unfortunately, where I am is God's will that's going to prevail. And that's what's going to give me peace. And unfortunately, most of the people will be crying at the end of whatever that Uncle Uncle in Bendulozaki would be. Yeah. Um, he actually pointed at me. Yeah. Yeah, before the one on one session, he pointed out on something that really happened in my life, asked me about my kids, and asked if I never lost any child, of which is true that that child, it was a miscarriage that happened quite early, and he, he, he alluded that, that it, it was not by mistake, it's something that had a human hand on it. And he further said that he was seeing something happening in my marriage that he was going to pray for. But then when I saw him, he then went into the depth of what problems he had seen. I'm sure I don't know. Yes. Another thing he mentioned was he's not sure if my husband is, is planning to take a second wife. Of which now that I could not be able to give him an, uh, a response because I was in that state. When I discovered about these things uh, that he's been doing outside, he said it to Guti. He was actually thinking of taking one of these ladies as the second wife. But I never gave that information to the pastor because I was, I was not okay at the time. When he prayed for me, he mentioned that like God is going to restore my life. He's seeing my business growing and such that I can be able to, because it's true that I'm stuck between this job and the business because of the fears of the unknown that you leave the, the job with securities and go to the business hasn't, that hasn't taken off and only to find that maybe you've got regrets. And two, he also mentioned that regarding my marriage, God is working on it and his will shall prevail. Unfortunately, there will be people who will be crying when God is giving me peace. And the fact that uh, the spirits of Amadlos and ancestors, these are the things that have been causing a lot of conflicts in Shatunami. And he then said, I made a good choice by, by not following. The, the 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 background that I'm coming from. After meeting the servant of God, I'm feeling much more at peace, relieved. Even though it had to bring a lot of emotions, because I felt like I was relieving everything that I've been through. And um, I I trust Nkulunkulu because he says he is the one who orders our steps. That as I go forward as is undoing everything that has been done by the evil one, restoring my life, rest restoring my marriage, if it's, that's his will, and at the same time, uh, 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 directing my path when it comes to my job and, and the business, um, I'm, I'm feeling much more relieved. And I'm thanking God for, for not being doubtful because initially I was having this thing of should I go because now I came here without an announcing at home and he, my husband doesn't know that I'm here because he always had these issues that uh, the, the church is all they want. They want people to just dish out money. So I was between the hard surface and the rock but I've got absolutely no regrets that I came here because God indeed utilized and used Umfundis to be able to speak through my life. Thank you.
Okay, how I got to know each other is, was through one of my, uh, the, the church mates, if I may say. It's a couple that goes to the same church that I go to. So after sharing what I've been through and talking to them and they've been praying with me and then they, they informed me, say, Carol, there is a church that is doing wonders when it comes to deliverance and there you must go knowing that You've put and trust in Kunungul that is gonna reveal himself and is gonna work wonders for you. So they informed me, and I've been attending for the past three weeks, if I'm not mistaken. On Wednesdays, I'll get here around 12 because normally at work I finish early. So I've seen things happening, and I've seen God moving in the services, starting from the intercession all the way through up until the pastors were walking for, for, for the word for a day. So I said, Carol, you need deliverance in your life because of the things that have been happening. And I'm interested in Google that is going to continue to work in my life, my family, and my business slash a job as well. What I will say is, um, what happened to me today, it was a revelation that we can do so much that you want to do on your own with your life. But God's word at the end of the day is the one that is uh, an ultimate. So you can go where you want to go, hoping that you're going to find assistance. But at the end of the day, God is the one who's going to lead your way. And I thank God for just bringing such people like uh, the pastor that I met today, uh, the, the man of God, the servant of God, because such people, they are not there anymore. I mean, people do anything that they want just to get, like to earn some means to, to be able to survive. But uh, my experience of today, I say, Lord, continue to do what you are doing within this institution and even more.